The Beatles were secret clansmen. The Who was just Kaja Gugu with better drums. Bob Dylan, Bananarama in drag. Those are just three stories that Red Eye's music correspondent won't be talking about. Let's welcome celebrated music journalist and prolific album reviewer behind MarkPrindle.com, the aptly named Mark Prindle. He knows Bono like I know Mono. Don't worry, I don't think I'm contagious anymore. Hi, Mark, how you doing? Good, thank you for having me back on the television. Oh, it's always a pleasure to have you back on the TV. Thanks. That saves time. Uh, today's top story that you're covering, Justin Timberlake is getting ready to open his own golf course in Tennessee. What's your take on this? Actually, that reminds me of a funny joke. Yeah? <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Justin. Justin who? Just incapable of writing a good song. Oh. <laughs> no, um... It's funny because well, it's true. <laughs> as you know, uh, I've followed this guy's career very closely yeah. since he was in Menudo or whatever. Uh, yeah. And he's, you know, he's funny. He's a funny guy. He's got, uh, uh he can dance. Yes. Mm -hmm. But he's god-awful. His music is so awful. So if this golf course thing keeps him out of the studio, I'm all for it. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. Now, apparently the course was specifically designed to be eco-friendly. What does this mean? Um, first of all, I guess it's not going to have those smokestacks that you find on most golf courses yeah, yeah. You know, in the dark. Uh, and also, I'm told that each hole will have its own designated green area, <laughs> which I think is a really nice, I mean, nice. special thing. That is a really nice actual thing. I agree. Now, he's also expressed interest in writing a golf-focused memoir. Mm -hmm. Were you aware that he was such a fan of the sport? It's not just golf. Uh, Justin Timberlake has his fingers in a lot of different things, including Janet Jackson's wardrobe, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, see, that joke was hilarious five years ago. It's hilarious today. Yeah. Is he um, peddling some cologne? Oh, yeah, cologne. Um, it's called in a box, and apparently the aroma is, no, no, it's Gavinci, I think, is the yeah. one he does. Ah, all right. Well, that's interesting. Let's take a look at a few of the uh, interesting concert tours that are coming up this summer. First of all, Bob Dylan, Willie Nelson, mm -hmm. and of course, John Cougar Mellencamp, they're all embarking on a tour of minor league baseball parts. What can you tell us about this? Um, apparently, Bob Dylan and Willie Nelson have done this before, mm -hmm. but what makes this year super special is uh, that there will actually be minor league games taking place while they're playing. No, I don't believe uh, that. Yes, they've got Willie Nelson between home plate and the catcher. I don't believe that. The guy's like 800. Uh, Mark, I think you're making this up. No, no, no. Without the beard, he's just a corpse. How can I you do no, this to him? I, now, shouldn't these guys be a bit concerned about uh, conducting <laughs> grueling tours at their advanced ages. You all right there? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm just enjoying some water. <laughs> yeah, what were you saying? Yeah. Um, aren't you worried about their health being so old? <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy some water. Uh, yes, you can. But you can enjoy the water before or after the segment. Oh, but you would have missed my great joke. The great joke I was going to do for you. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Go ahead, finish your question. Um, I'm going to actually, I want to move on. I want to talk about Slayer and Marilyn Manson. Okay. Touring together. Yes. That's awesome. Or is it not awesome? Slayer is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Marilyn Manson is. Yeah. Do you like Marilyn Manson? No, I don't. I'm a big Slayer fan. But yeah, I, me too. I, exactly. I'm enjoying the idea of Slayer fans and Marilyn Manson fans getting together in Why the same is this place. happening? Why did Marilyn Manson get on this, this thing? On the, you know, that's a question I should have asked myself before coming on the show. <laughs> yeah, you should. I want to move on um, with uh, 2009 now half over. Yes. Have you any, heard any potential candidates for best album of the year? Uh, yes. My favorite album of the year so far is Coalesce's album Ox. Mm -hmm. um, but I think I may have discovered something last night that's even better. Do, do we have a clip? Uh, this is a band called Attack Attack, and their song Stick Stickly. They're big on repetition. Um, it's called Crab Core because they do this dance where their legs are apart and they're bouncing up and down and shaking their heads. And, uh, it was written up in The Guardian and on this blog called Buddy Head. And believe me, watch the entire video if you can on YouTube or something because it is abominable. It Just is beautiful. You, when you send it to
it to me, I, I could not take my eyes off it. And they, and they attack so many different styles at the same time. It's, I know. It's really they amazing. Yeah. Are they the future of rock and roll? Crabcore, maybe. Yeah. Uh, you know, already Tom Petty is doing it, Bob Seger. Everyone's just dancing around like they're taking a dump. <laughs> All right, Mark, we got to go. Thank you so okay. much. See you real soon. Uh, check out markprindle.com. Excellent record reviews there, or CDs, or whatever you call them. But you'll enjoy it. Coming up next, your emails answered by me.